A champ with the Spurs, uh, 14 years in the NBA. He's one of our fine NBA analysts, one of our absolute favorites. Steven Jackson joining us now, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing, just like that, Ste just like Steven Jackson. The best or nothing, folks. We don't go to B-listers. So first of all, I, I was saying this. Like, the NBA is a star-driven league. In the NFL, the stars don't want to play in the Pro Bowl mostly. And so the symbolism is who gives a rip, right? right. In the NBA, I watch Kawhi early and LeBron late, and I'm like, the message is LeBron cares and Kawhi cares. So when I'm watching that game, I'm like, well, if I was a lesser all-star and LeBron's going at it, I'd be like, Kyle Lowry's out there like it's game seven of the finals. Mm -hmm. I think it does matter when the stars care about this game, doesn't it? Yeah, it, and, and it, it matters, but, you know, when it having to win every quarter made them play like that from the beginning. And I think the, the new rules, how they, how they switched the game up, Help the help the competition of the game. Winning every quarter, I was telling somebody earlier, when coaches that teach their teams to win every quarter to win games, they come out and play harder from the beginning of the game. If you watch it, all the coaches that coach teams and, and they coach winning quarters. A lot of coaches don't coach that, but the team, coaches that do, their teams come out and they always try to win that first quarter. I think the emphasis they put on winning quarters for the, for the charities and stuff like that made them play at a high level from the beginning of the game. And LeBron and uh, Greek Freak play like that from the jump. I mean, look at it. Watch the huddles. Yeah. <laughs> They're like totally into it. I think that's how games should be, though. All-Star games should be like that. Well, you were not a guy that could mail it in. You didn't have really a second gear. You played hard or you didn't play. Right. Greek Freak is the same way. He has one speed. You know, nobody expected. Damian Greek. Lillard's pretty much like Damian competes. He competes, but Greek Freak, before the game, he wasn't really into shaking hands. Before the game, you know, this is it's an All Star game. But if you see his dunks at the beginning of the game, he was dunking those things pretty hard. Like he was serious and he was trying to win that game. Uh, I, I think that LeBron had all the closers, all the closers That's on that right. team. So it was it, it was it was written for them to win. You know, it's kind of funny. I'm watching at the end of the game, and you've got AD and LeBron and Kawhi playing together, and pretty seamlessly. And, I, and I, this is one of the things I've been hitting on for years. Nobody wants parity if they're winning. In college football, Alabama and Clemson get all the good players. Right. Their fans don't want parity. Right. Uh, Kentucky basketball fans and Duke fans, they're like, yeah, we got all the five-star guys. <laughs> they don't want any parity. But in the NBA, everybody's like, the league doesn't have parity. I was watching LeBron, and I'm watching Kawhi, and I'm watching AD play, and I'm thinking, I'd watch that. That would be scary. I'd be the, that'd be arguably the greatest basketball team ever. Isn't sort of even down to AAU, Stephen, stars align. In AAU, all the best players from Atlanta go to the same AAU team, don't they? It, all the players, any AAU team, California, they get all the best players. And this is when I was in middle school, so it, it's been like that. I think people that don't understand the goal of any game or any sport is to win. Whether if you're playing with great players, whether if you're making a move like Katie and going to a great team, it's about winning. And, and that's what you work for. That's what you play for. And if you got to get on a team with guys that's great and make an all-star team for a regular season team, then so be it. Yeah, like Paul George is in Oklahoma City, spends a year with Westbrook. It's like we're not a title team. Right. And so let's go win titles. When you were in the league, tell me the difference between playing in San Antonio where mm -hmm. you felt every night you could win mm -hmm. and the team in which you drove to the arena knowing you had no chance to. Uh Milwaukee, when I was in Milwaukee that short time, but I wouldn't say we didn't have a we didn't have a chance in Charlotte. I just knew we had to earn it. Like in San Antonio, it was a lot of nights where we would pull up into the arena, we knew we was gonna win. You got Tim Duncan, we got David Robinson, we all we gotta do is show up. Um in Charlotte, I knew we had to work, we had to prepare, we had to be the better team that night, and and we knew we wasn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we had to try to be that team a lot of nights. Even in Golden State, we were a small team, undersized. Uh, but we had to find ways to win. And uh, I like being in that position. You know, I like being the underdog, and a lot of guys like that. But at the same time, it's about winning. And anybody that's putting themselves in a the position to win, I respect it. You made news last week. You're like a journalist. So you ah, I never heard that. I'm you, a journalist now. Now, you had a big podcast. You and Matt Barnes do a podcast. Yes. And you have Kevin Durant on, and, mm -hmm. and he respects you guys, obviously. Shout out my boy, Matt. Yeah. And uh, you and Matt do your podcast, and Kevin Durant comes on, and he acknowledged that – that Draymond Green moment where Joy and I had said on the air, there's certain lines you can cross, and mm -hmm. if you cross certain lines even with family members, you're out of the will. Right. Uh, when he said that on your podcast, were you surprised he admitted it? Uh, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I think um, everything that he went through is, is helping him come to grips with who he is. You know, you got caught with the burner. Now you 
comfortable with admitting that you still got it because you got caught with it. <laughs> if you never would have got caught, you wouldn't be comfortable with admitting you still use it. You know what I mean? And I, I, think, I think all that was a blessing for him because if I was Kevin Durant, if I was in them shoes, there's no way that I wouldn't come from my, my uh, official page. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm off the cuff anyway. But he, I think everything he's been through with people belittling him and saying he shouldn't have a fake page and all this, I think it's helping him come to grips with who he is, and he's able to admit those things now. Now, I could make the – I've said before um, – Golden State, it's by Silicon Valley. Steve Kerr played in the league. Steph's pretty easy to play with as a star, like Duncan was. Certain right. stars are hard to play with. Hey, man, Clay. Yeah. I still acknowledge that, okay, Draymond says something. It crosses a line. You can't call a B, you can't call me a B word at no time. You, Joy, nobody in the world. I, I would never do that. I'm not taking it from okay, nobody. I get it. And I would give you the same respect and not do it to you as well. I would appreciate that, but you couldn't. There's not much <laughs> I could do about it. But... Could I not argue this with Kevin? Okay. There's an old saying, don't jump over a $20 bill to get to a five. Right. Okay. Draymond pissed you off. It's still a great fit for you. You're right. walking away from the best superstar teammate to Kyrie Irving, who we have to acknowledge can be a little difficult at times. Steph's never shown one moment of being difficult. Right. He's flawed, not a great defender. Mm -hmm. Could I... Could I make the argument, devil's advocate, okay, mm -hmm. Draymond crossed a line. Don't let Draymond affect your career. You don't go to a lesser team. Mm -hmm. That's my problem with Durant. Like, I can be really upset with Steven Jackson. Right. But you are not going to affect my career. I'm not leaving this town because you called me a word. I'm going to confront it. I may hate you, but I'm not leaving the Spurs in Duncan's prime. That's where I look at Kevin, and I think, Kevin, you're letting Draymond control you. I don't like that. Well, I was in a situation with San Antonio where after we won a championship, I didn't get the contract that I, I knew I deserved. I left and went to the Hawks. Do you regret it? No. You don't? I did, never regretted it because I went to the Hawks, was top 15 in scoring, and I got my contract the next year and ended up being on a good team. I would never uh, belittle my own self, myself, for for the Spurs organization. You know, I made all those shots in the playoffs. I made, I was the third leading scorer, but you want to give Ginobili and another guy the money. I'm not finna take that. So with KD, he gonna make the same amount of money regardless of where he goes. And when he, and, he, and when he's But gonna, you just told me earlier it's about winning. You're gonna win way more there. It, it is, but he can win there too because just think, Kyrie, he had one of the biggest shots ever in the finals. He's still one of the top five point guards in the league. Mm -hmm. You have, you have DJ. A solid role player, one of the most athletic bigs in the league, and you have a great group of young guys around you. In the East, they can do some damage. He couldn't win with that team in the West. He ain't getting through Milwaukee. I don't know. Kawhi's not in the East no more. All right. You, you, <laughs> Kawhi, you Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard's not there no more. I just think Kevin Durant, I, I understand him being angry, but I hope he didn't flush some of his career down the toilet. He got three more rings in Golden State if he wanted them. That's what we're Don't need him. Well, you but you keep saying winning's everything. He can win. He can. One Not thing about me. Titles. One thing about me. I won everywhere I've been, so it didn't matter what team. Well, but where'd you win titles? I won one title in San Antonio. That's what's better than everything. But I had a chance to win titles other places, too. That but, I went. But you didn't. We didn't. But winning, it was the the, the attitude and the goal to win was the same place everywhere. So just because you in a certain on a certain organization or a certain team, your win your attitude for winning should not change. Just because I was with the Spurs and it was a winning organization, I went to Golden State, I went to Charlotte, everywhere else, and I still helped them win. I got Charlotte to the playoffs for the first time in 13 years. So my the winning attitude is in you. That can't be taught, and you don't get that by going to an organization. It has to be in you first. So let me. Um, what do you make of Zion? I think he's fascinating, me flawed. Too. A lot of critics out there. Mm -hmm. Steven, you dropped 30 points at 19 years old. I don't want to hear the critics. Mm -hmm. What do you make of his game? What, what part of his game do you jumps I, out? What, I, don't, what do I don't think people criticizing his game. I think it's the everything that comes with it. Like, when you look at him, yeah, he's talented, he's athletic, but he's overweight still. And 82 games, of as, as high as he jumped, coming up and down at 82 games, he's not going to make an 82-game season. I know it's low management now. Nobody plays 82 games. But every time he goes up for a dunk, everybody's don't know how he's going to land. He's a big guy. I think he still has to work on his body. I think he has to has to lose some weight. But as far as his talent and what he can be for this game. How would you defend him? Uh, make him shoot right now. Make him shoot right now. I, I, I think he's backing people down, and they're letting him get to his left hand. 
He's a left hand shooter. Make yeah. him go right. Like that's one thing about one thing about San Antonio. We taking that. We taking all these, all the stuff you like to do away, and, and make you add something to that's your New game. That's New England Patriot football. They're not doing that in the NBA no more. They letting guys go to their sweet spots, just take shots when they want to. You got to make guys do things that they're not they're not that comfortable doing. And uh, once they get to that point, I think they'll see his game change a little. But he got he got to lose weight. I think he's a great player. He's going to be a great player in this league. He got to lose weight though. Um, finally, Lakers Clippers. Uh, you know, you can go either way. I like the Clippers' architecture of their roster, but the Lakers have five game, or they have like a five game lead mm -hmm. on the Clippers. So let's just talk in terms of a seven game series, not a not a singular game where the Clippers can beat them. They play a seven game series starting tomorrow. Who would you like and why? I like Lakers. I just never seen the dynamic of LeBron and a player like Anthony Davis. Um, I don't see them losing in the seven-game series to nobody. LeBron is one of the smartest players. The Clippers have a great defensive team. They are the better defensive team, but analytically, the Lakers are. I don't believe in analytics. But um, I just think the Lakers have too much experience, and LeBron has never played with a player like AD. I don't think they get to that point and, and not win it. Are, are you surprised how good they've been this early, this quickly? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, good, smart players play well together. Yeah, and, and you know they they made it a point to get together early this summer and gel with the team. You know what I mean? And, and that's big. When when everybody comes in early and come wants to be on the same page and build that camaraderie early and want to be on the, and want to be a great team in preseason, it's showing early in regular season. They got together early. They they was they put this together early. This is just not a regular season thing. Hi everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.